Hi guys, today I'm going to change the batteries in a UPS, uninterruptible power supply. This one is an APC Smart UPS 750 and the batteries have failed in this. If I turn it on, we can see what it's doing. New battery, no. So if we leave it a moment, yeah, it'll either shut off completely or um, it comes up with an error saying connect battery. So you can see there the battery light is flashing. So there's no battery or the battery's bad. So inside these, there are two standard sized lead acid batteries. Now, APC used to, in their older machines, they used to um, just allow you to buy one of these batteries and put it straight in. There was spade connectors on the cables and you just connect up the new battery and slot it in and that was it. Now what they've done is to protect the, uh, the replacement of these and, and make people uh, order their own batteries, they've put a little connector on there which looks as though it's attached into the battery pack but um, I believe uh, it could be split apart and, and reused on some um, normal batteries, which are uh, same same specification batteries, last just as long, but uh, they're a lot cheaper because they're not this, uh, this proprietary APC pack. So we'll get these batteries out and uh, we'll take a look. So this front cover just pulls off. Bit tight. And there's a control cable attached to this. You don't need to take that out. You can leave that attached. Just put that on the top of the unit. And then these two, um, these two little clips here just pull out and allow this plate to move down. Now, this, I think, comes out. Grab hold of that. Pull them out. Okay, so this is the connector I was talking about in the, in the older packs. Um, this wasn't attached, there was literally two wires coming out of the unit with sockets on and you just pulled them off the battery, plugged them onto the new ones and put the battery back in. Now the newer units, well I say newer, this is a good uh, 10 years old now so they may have changed it again but um, this particular model has this socket on here. So these two battery packs are attached together and this socket is attached in the center of them. Now, I'll just show you what I have bought. So these are two batteries which you can buy anywhere. I got these from eBay. Um, I think the price of this was um, about 26 pounds for the pair, uh, that's English pounds, as were the equivalent pack here from APC is in the region of about £80. So three or four times the price of this and essentially they're the same thing. There's the two um, 12 volt lead acid batteries. The only difference is that it has this, uh, this proprietary connector on. So what I'm hoping is that we can split this apart, take this connector out, transfer it across to these batteries and that should do the job. So let's take a look. So it looks as though the middle two connectors go through this fuse and the outside connectors go to the connector. So it come, the negative from the connector comes in through the first battery, through the fuse, through the second battery, back to the connector. So I'll just take this uh, tie off. Okay, second one. 
hands off. Right, so I don't know how this is attached together. I'm just moving a little bit. I'm wondering whether it's uh, a sticky pad or something, which I, I do have some replacements for. So I'm just get a screwdriver in there, see if we can get this apart. Looks like a double-sided sticky pad in there. Just come in. What I want to do, uh, I'll get a bigger screwdriver. I'm worried that this is um, quite small and sharp. I don't want to pierce the uh, the batteries because there is a, a liquid or a gel in here which uh, I don't want spilling out. So just let me get uh, something else to do that with. Okay, so I've just got myself an old knife, and I'm just running it down the middle here. It is quite sticky, that pad, whatever's... might be some glue, actually. Just cut your way down. I think that's it. Yeah, you can see it was just one of those double-sided uh, pads in there. So they're not genuine APC batteries anyway. I've got the sticker on the outside to say APC, but inside they're another brand. Power. How are your life batteries? Kung Long batteries. Hmm. Well, to be honest, I think the ones that I've got here, these U cell batteries, are going to be just as good. Okay, so the part we need from this is this connector here. Oh, actually, it was. It wasn't. St I, I assumed this connector would be uh, integrated in between the two batteries, but it's actually just stuck on the top. So you can just pull it off the top, I expect. Let's use the knife again. Okay. Oh, that's easy. Right, let's see if these connectors are the same size. So my battery comes with these protective plastic clips. It does come, my batteries did come with some clip converters, or terminal converters rather, to make the smaller ones into the larger ones. Now, the ones that are on the UPS are the larger size. So, although these will attach into here, they don't make quite as good a connection as if they're the, uh, the correct size. So, I'm going to put these on my battery.
So the batteries you buy, they may already have the correct size on. Okay, so they're converted now to the same size as the old batteries. So, uh, let's stick these two batteries together first. Make it a little bit easier to manage. So I've got some double-sided tape here. This is panel tape that you buy for vehicles, double-sided green panel tape. Just gonna put a couple of strips of this on the battery. Now just make sure our connector is in the right place. Still some sticky on this connector, so I think it'll be fine. Bring these together. See how strong that is there, just holding one up there, and not going anywhere. And that connector's solid too. So we just need to connect these up now. And the fuse. Doesn't matter which way around the fuse goes. just got to make sure that the red wire is going to the positive on your battery and the negative wire is going to the negative. I may just put another tie around that as it was before just to stop it uh, catching on the lid on the way in. Just get a tie. Okay, see if that fits in. Look inside, you can see the connector at the back of this compartment. Just engages on the way in. That's it. Okay, let's uh, put it back together and power it up. Okay, no errors. So this battery must have come uh, pre-charged, showing 99%, now it's 100%, um, but no warning light, that battery light has gone out now. So this is this uh, unit repaired, and for a lot cheaper than it would have cost to buy the proprietary unit. So I hope this has helped some of you guys out. Thanks for watching.